Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Yarnoculus. Hope you all are doing great. This is part 16 of my lowercase alphabet blanket and is also the final part in this series, which means we are all set to start with a new project and a new series next week onwards. In the previous episodes, we have done up to row number 164. Today, we're going to start from row number 165, finish this blanket, and I will also show you a beautiful border for this project. So, let's get to the pattern quickly. But before that, if you are looking for a written pattern of this blanket it's on my blog at yarnoculus blogcom and it has the row by row instruction as well as the graph for this beautiful blanket with all that said let's quickly get to the last few rows of this blanket starting with row number 165 let's go all right everyone i'm done with my row number 164 so for row number 165 let's do chain one turn your work and let's start with 6 single crochets and a bobble stitch. Four single crochets after that. Bubble in the next stitch. Nine single crochets next. Bubble in the next. Four single crochets after that. Bobble in the next. Twelve single crochets next. Bobble in the next. 6 single crochets after that. Bobble in the next stitch. 7 single crochets next. Bobble in the next stitch. Eleven single crochets next. Bobble after that. Five single crochets next. Bobble in the next stitch. Thirteen single crochets after that bobble. Bobble in the next stitch. 4 single crochets next. Bobble after that. 9 single crochets next. Put a bobble in the next stitch. Four single crochets next, a bobble in the next stitch, and 
end this row with 6 single crochets. Okay, that was your row number 165. Chain 1, turn your work. And go ahead and do row number 166 which is going to be a row of single crochet in every stitch. And I'll meet you back for row number 167. Alright everyone, once you're done with row number 166, chain 1 and turn your work for row number 167. Alright, we start as usual with 6 single crochets and a bobble stitch. Five single crochets after that. A bubble stitch in the next stitch. Seven single crochets next. A bobble in the next stitch. Five single crochets next. Bobble after that. Twelve single crochets next. A bobble in the next. Six single crochets after that. A bobble in the next stitch. Seven single crochets next. Bobble in the next stitch. Eleven single crochets after that. Bobble in the next. Five single crochets after that. A bobble in the next. Six single crochets after that. A bobble in the next. And then do six more single crochets. Put a bubble in the next stitch. And five single crochets after that. A bubble in the next. Seven single crochets after that. A bobble in the next. Five single crochets. And a bobble. Let's end this row with six single crochets. Okay. 
all right that was row number 167 chain one turn your work and get row number 168 done which is going to be a row of single crochet in every stitch okay and i'll see you back when we are ready for row number 169 Alright everyone, so I'm done with my row number 168. So for row number 169, chain 1 and turn your work. Okay, let's start as usual with 6 single crochets and a bobble stitch. Six single crochets after that. And then we need four pairs of a bobble stitch and a single crochet. And after the fourth bobble stitch, we need six single crochets. A bobble in the next. Seven single crochets after that. Three pairs of a bobble stitch and a single crochet. Seven single crochets after that. A bobble in the next stitch. Five single crochets next. Bobble in the next. Single crochet after that and a bobble after that. Okay, do 11 single crochets next. A bobble in the next. Six single crochets after that. Four pairs of a bobble and a single crochet. Okay. After the fourth pair, let's do six single crochets. A bobble in the next stitch. Six single crochets after that. And four pairs of a bobble stitch and a single crochet. After 
After the fourth bobble, let's do six single crochets. A bobble in the next stitch. And six single crochets to end this row. That was the end of row number 169. Chain 1, turn your work and let's do row number 170 which is going to be a row of single crochet in every stitch. And with that we have completed the last bunch of alphabets as well. So now we need to repeat a few rows like we do after every bunch but this time since this is the last row or the first row if you consider it from the top all we need to do is complete the hexagons okay. So you just need to repeat rows 31 to 36 that's going to complete the hexagon and it's also going to complete the pattern but since we did 6 rows of single crochet in the beginning of this blanket we need to do 6 rows of single crochet in the end as well so the pattern for the next few rows that's rows number 170 to row number 182 are gonna look something like this okay so go ahead do these it's gonna complete the core of your blanket and when you're done with that let's meet again for doing the cute little border okay Alright everyone, so I'm done with the 5 rows of single crochet in every stitch. That completes the core of my blanket and all we are left to do is a cute little border. Okay, Now the border, I'm going to do a simple moss stitch border for this one. The same thing that I did in my previous project that was the Sweet Dreams blanket. If you haven't checked that out, here's the entire playlist. Check it out and we're going to do the same kind of border here as well. Because there's a lot going on in the core of the blanket and I want the focus to be on the alphabets rather than on the border okay but before we move on to the border rows we need to make sure that all our sides are evened out and like any other blanket pattern you would see that the top and bottom of your blanket are pretty evened out because of the stitches but the sides wouldn't be so we need to do single crochet stitches on all four sides and while you do this make sure that the right side is facing you okay so the right side is where you see the bobbles and the alphabets and the pattern so that should be facing you and that's how you'll get a nice effect of the border okay so after the five rows of single crochet in every stitch i'm at the corner i'm gonna cut off this yarn because i don't need it anymore secure it with a knot okay so it doesn't come undone and this is the corner stitch that we're gonna start the border row with okay so i'm gonna take my border color and start with the slip knot on that and attach it to my corner stitch so my corner stitch is right here I'm just gonna put in my hook pull up the border color and pull it through the slip knot and I've attached my border color and now I'm just gonna crochet over these two tails so I don't have a lot of weaving in at the end okay with the border we are always gonna do a single crochet chain to single crochet so this stitch does not count as a stitch let's do a single crochet in the same stitch chain two and a single crochet again in the same stitch that's gonna give you a neat corner and you're gonna do the same thing whenever you come across a corner okay now with that done let's do a single crochet in every stitch all across the four sides just a plain single crochet in every stitch okay, just like that and I'm gonna go all around the four sides and like I said it's gonna be a little uneven on the right and the left edges so just put a stitch randomly it does not matter how many stitches you get on these sides it just has to be evened out okay I'm gonna do two such rows of single crochet in every stitch on all four sides and then we'll start the more stitch border okay so let me do this real quick and I'll meet you back when I'm done with two rows of single crochet in every stitch Okay everyone, so now that I'm done with two rows of single crochet in every stitch, my border already looks really nice. So one option here, if you want to continue making single crochet border rows, you can still go ahead with 
that make a few rows of single crochet on all four sides and that's gonna look absolutely beautiful but if you want to do a more stitch border like I'm gonna do right now just follow along for the next few rows as well okay so now I'm at the last single crochet of row number two and I'm gonna join to the corner with a chain stitch and now let's start with row number three for the border which is gonna be the beginning of the more stitch border okay the corner stitches are gonna remain the same single crochet chain two single crochet let's do that first so single crochet in the corner chain two and a single crochet okay and let's begin with our more stitch so i'm gonna do a single crochet in the next stitch chain one skip the next single crochet and do a single crochet in the stitch after that and that's gonna be your repeat for the whole of this row that's a single crochet chain one skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next and do this for all four sides and come back when you are at the end and I'll show you what we need to do for border row number four Okay everyone, so I'm done with that one row where I was doing single crochet, chain one, skip one, stitch, single crochet. So let's end this row and at the end, I'm done with the last single crochet out here. It doesn't matter whether you end with a single crochet or a chain one. Whenever you feel like you're at the last stitch, just chain stitch into the corner. Okay, and the corner stitch is going to be the same single crochet, chain two single crochet okay with row four of the border we're gonna do the same thing that single crochet chain one single crochet but this time the single crochet is gonna be in the chain stitches what i mean by that is do a single crochet in the next stitch chain one and do a single crochet in the chain stitch so here is my chain stitch i'm gonna do a single crochet there okay so chain one single crochet in the next chain stitch chain one single crochet in the next chain stitch chain one single crochet in the next chain stitch and that's what you're gonna do for the whole of this row and i'm gonna do the same thing for about four or five rows until i'm happy with the size of the border i usually like thicker borders but it's up to you if you like to keep it like a thin border or a thick border i'm gonna do maybe four to five rows of this moth stitch and i'll show you what the final thing looks like once i'm done with all of these rows okay so i'm gonna be back soon Alright everyone, so that was the last part of this series and this project. I'm gonna be back with the next project next week. If you happen to post pictures of your finished blankets on Instagram, please do tag me. My handle is at Yarnoculus. And if you have any questions, comments or feedback for me, please leave them in the comment section below. I love to read your comments and help you out with your questions. So please keep them coming. I'm gonna be back next week with the next project. Till then, take care and happy crocheting.